have your day today? Excellent. We couldn't resist a final stop in New Hampshire at a very special store. After all, you don't get to wish somebody a happy 150th every day. Indeed, Ulysses S. Grant was president when Mary Chesley Califf opened Califf's Country Store in 1869. Five generations owned and ran it until the 1990s. Greg Bolton and Len Angelo bought the store in 2012, but not a lot of renovating to report. You've got to be current in order to attract people to come to you, um, but part of the reason they come is they want that sort of old-fashioned feel. Oh, they get that. Original wood ceilings, original wood floor. I mean, it requires constant upkeep. In fact, we had a light go out yesterday. I had to get a new fixture before you came so we wouldn't be standing here in the dark. A lot of stuff in the store looks exactly the same as it did, and we hear that from a lot of customers that come in. They say, I haven't been in, in here in 30 years, but, you know, not much has changed. I don't know how many have said to me, I can't believe it when I come through that front door. It brings back so many memories. Invariably, one of those memories is Califf's best-known employee, Joel Sherburn. Dwight Eisenhower was president when Joel cut his first wheel of cheese here. One time they told me how much I cut wheels or whatever. What's your best guess? I have no idea. No? I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> but others have, making Joel the subject of a new book by author Rebecca Rule in 2017. And now do you have like a whole new set of fans that... Oh uh... my God, it's <laughs> unbelievable. Like Joel, the cheese here remains a perennial star. I, I have my normal, you know, steakhouse onion and smoked cheddar. These are always a must have. It's an experience and it's something that you're not gonna find at, you know, these big chain stores. This is something that is unique and it's very, very New England. So this old but very much alive piece of New England history marks a century and a half of being unplugged, unrushed, and unlike a lot of other places today. They come here to browse and look around. They bring their kids. They're happy when they come in here, and that, that really feels good. And the folks at Caleb's tell us that Joel Sherburn's still working four days a week. Incredible. He, this is his 64th wow. year of working at that store. Unbelievable. And Ted says he did not leave without grabbing some of that wicked, snappy, <laughs> sharp <laughs> cheddar. Okay, it was so awesome. <laughs> and that is Chronicle 4 tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. And I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great night. Hope to see you back here again soon for another edition of Chronicle.